This is Dr. Bruntley, Log 315, Entry 1. I have been assigned to the Richard Kirk case. One month ago, Mr. Kirk volunteered to participate in an experiment called synaptic osmosis. He was attached to a computer for extended periods of time. And long story short, he caught a computer virus. Can you get some help in here? Doctors didn't see any physical signs, and so they suspected it might be a psychological issue, which is why they passed him on to me. Can you tell me who you are? You are Richard Kirk. Do you understand? Good enough to nazoi. Wave to me if you understand. Yana M. Ganaxin, she sit! Log 315, entry 2. <sighs> Initial attempts to communicate have met a pretty frustrating end. <sighs> His face is blank and hard to read and he physically assaulted me for no obvious reason. Tomorrow I'm going to try some more right-brained attempts to get through to him. Hopefully we'll have better luck with more universal methods. I want you to take these and draw anything you want. Log 315, entry 3. I feel like the butt of a sick joke. It's like he's being intentionally stubborn against any and all of my help. I think maybe a walk around the grounds tomorrow might do him some good. Maybe we'll give him a bit of fresh air and see if that doesn't make him more receptive. Like Lou Dion! Oh, no. <sighs> well, he hates computers now. A lot. I was hoping to have some sort of a direction by this point about his psychological issue. <laughs> It seems like somewhere in his mind there is a psychological problem that I just need to find. It's like if he could only reach out a little bit, maybe we could get somewhere. This is now the most bizarre mental aberration that I have ever seen, but I have just made a huge step of progress. I found out that Richard Kirk is still able to understand English, but just in reverse. I don't think there has been anything written on this problem before. But it's important because we are now able to communicate with him, and he is able to communicate with us. Aside from the fact that he will have to be taught standard English all over again, I think Richard is going to be okay. His jumpy countenance is most likely stemming from the fact that no one has been able to communicate with him. But I'm sure he's very retrievable. I'm looking forward to working with him. <laughs>